What we are seeing is a worldwide pattern of abuse and criminality. Scientology is not a religious organisation. In the back blocks of Sydney's CBD, I'm on my way to a meeting I've been trying to arrange for years. I'm David Milliken, United Church Minister, and over the last 25 years I've researched groups who claim to be religions. The Church of Scientology has invited me to their Sydney headquarters. They've promised they'll give me free access to what goes on behind these walls. I've talked to some of the people that you people have gone after, and you don't muck around. I mean, you don't just attack what they're saying, but go after them and break them. We know that we're immortal. I know that I've lived before, and I'm going to live again. Facing the cameras are the president and also a minister of the church. We are set. Vicky Dunstan and senior manager Virginia Stewart. So I'm going to David. Okay. They're well aware theirs is a church under threat and under attack. Scientology is not a religious organisation. It is a criminal organisation that hides behind its so-called religious beliefs. You'll see pictures of this man everywhere in Scientology buildings. He's L. Ron Hubbard, the founder of Scientology, who died in 1986. Every building I've been in, in Scientology, has a, a place like this. That's right. Well, what happened was, when the founder was alive, he would go around and visit the churches. Mm. And so, as a sign of respect, we have an office for him in every church of Scientology. Would I be right in saying that you regard him as the greatest man that has lived? Definitely. There, there are many great men that have lived before. We don't regard him as a prophet, but we would, we would definitely highly, highly respect him. Yeah. Before he founded Scientology, Hubbard was a science fiction writer who saw service in World War II. The Second World War. As he had since earned a rare Master Mariner's license to captain any vessel in any ocean, he received numerous recommendations for commission as a naval officer. Are you familiar with the whole controversy about his war record? Yep. You know, I, I have mean, a lot of documentation on that, actually. Yes. Yep. I mean, all, all of his war records are available. There's I... actually three versions of them. Because he was in the intelligence department, so there's, there's like, one yeah. version, and then it there's another version, and then another Until version. Until he was thrown out, by the way. But anyway, I mean, he's not a good war record, you know. I mean, there's, there's a number of, of his, his superior officers said this man's not, uh, not I leadership that's quality. True, but you can prove it. You can <laughs> I don't know. That. That's You'd have to truth. show me those things. Okay. I, I consider this officer lacking in the essential qualities of judgment, leadership, and cooperation. Not considered qualified for command or promotion at this time. Squeeze the cans, please. Mr Hubbard discovered that there was a hidden part of the mind that actually hadn't been fully researched, and it took modern science to sort of get to that. And in this part of the mind is recorded all painful incidents, um, memories that a person has ever had. You, 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 I guess you can see how people... It's very scientific. ..looking from the outside say, look, this is a bit crazy, well, you know. Well, they're just this... not informed. And they had elected a fellow by the name of Zimu to the supreme ruler. And they were about to unelect him. And he took the last moments he had in office to really goof the flu. According to Hubbard, someone called Zinu was the founder of the Galactic Confederacy and 75 million years ago brought billions of his people to Earth in a spacecraft, stacked them around volcanoes and killed them using hydrogen bombs. Scientologists believe the essences of these aliens survived and they form around us, causing spiritual harm. The trick was to hit him with frozen alcohol and glycol, which preparation is guaranteed to pick up a thetan. What is a thetan? Vicky, could I can, you...? I can yeah, tell you that. Yeah. So, a thetan, we pronounce it yeah. a thetan, in Scientology is a consciousness. 
is an intelligence. It's the part of you that is aware of being aware. It's an, a, you're an immortal spirit. So when, I, when I'm talking to you, I'm talking to the Satan, right? So, so, That's right. So my, my question is, give me some evidence. Well, I, I'll tell you actually how that research started. Was no, 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 no. I don't no. want, I don't want yeah, research. Yeah, yeah. You tell me. Give me an argument now. You know. Yeah. I mean, can you can you feel Satan? So I mean, I know. No, you can't feel a Satan. Have said that to me. Yeah, I don't, I'm not sure about that. Really? Um, but a Thetan is a, a, a beingness and, a, and it is the essential you that knows. Yes. And how you know there is a Thetan is because um, it can be, uh, it has memory. Um, people in Scientology have uh, remembered former lives yes. and, that, and that is an essential part of Scientology, that you do live more than once and that you are immortal. What happens to Thetans when we die? Well, we believe that you, you come back that you yeah. get a new body. Thank you. Do you see that meter? Go over to it and put your hand on it. Thank you. Do you see that table? Go over to it and put your hand on it. Thank you. Do you see that wall? Go over to it and put your hand on it. Now look, I saw some people moving around, uh, touching uh, areas in the room. Can you explain that? That, that mm. one is called the objective processes. And okay. what they are is it's very important for a person to be in present time and to be in good communication. Do you see that window? Go over to it and put your hand It's actually good for their sanity and for their well-being. Thank you. So do you believe that you, you can raise your intelligence, your, your IQ? Definitely. Yeah, we, we don't just believe it. We, we can actually prove it with the actual IQ test. OK. So every time you do a every course? Every time, yeah. Really? Yeah. Um, one interesting thing where IQ is raised is on the purification rundown, which we looked at yesterday, because yeah, the presence yeah, of drugs and toxins well. really slows thinking and the mental um, facilities down. So just getting rid of that, the, the average person, their IQ raises several points. So after 100 courses, you've raised your IQ 200 points. No, <laughs> not, quite <laughs> not, that that way, not quite that way. But, like, they already had that intelligence, but the drugs and, and the, the physical, like, impediments in their body were sort of dumbing them down. So you just take away that artificial impediment and then sort of natural intelligence was more able to come out. Is this all of uh, his works? Yeah, in this library mm. is one of everything. How many courses are there? Like 100, 200 courses, maybe? Maybe 100. Maybe 100. 100. Maybe 100. Right. Is, why does it cost so much money to do all those courses? I mean, I've seen a price list pricing out all of those courses, and it comes to $300,000. Wow, okay. Well, that must have been hundreds <laughs> of courses. What do you mean, wow? <laughs> but you know, the, the prices I mean, of the courses. If you start courses. at the bottom and do all the courses, you need to pay some money, surely. That's right. Okay. Oh, look, there's a gentleman over here who's playing with plasticine. Yeah. But what's happening there? Well, we'll do, let's go over there. Okay. 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 One of the um, fundamental things that is if you're studying something in the absence of the actual objects, so if you're studying about trucks or cars and you don't have a truck or car... So you make the, you make the figure? You make the figure, right. and what it does is it actually aids in understanding. Do you have a present time problem? Yes, I do. OK. You want to tell me about that? Well, I just had some stress at work, basically. This process is what psychiatrists fear, where these counsellors lay bare people's deepest emotions. Very good. What's happening inside the auditing rooms? Sure. So, um, auditing actually comes from the Latin word meaning to listen. In the auditing room, it's really our central um, practice in Scientology where we get a person to confront the various factors of their existence, who they've been, what they've done, and to um, discover the things that were sort of previously hidden that are still affecting them even though they've forgotten them, and to raise up their awareness and sort of wake them up. So they're sitting there holding two cans, Yep. Mm -hmm. the famous e-meter. Yes. Which uh, the medical professions around the world don't have a high opinion of. Oh, that, that's all. We're that's not our field. The but there are disclaimers in the front of all your books yes. saying this is not a medical thing, this is that's not going to do That's a religious artefact, yes. Yes, it's a religious artefact. Yes. 
No, I was in Los Angeles some years ago. A leading Scientologist said that you're spending over $80 million a year on legal fees. Yeah, but not, not anymore. And an entire legal firm yeah. devoted to attacking the people that were going after you. Well, we, we actually were fighting so you're for saying our... that, that is not happening no, anymore? No, no. You have a history of going after people. I mean, I, I, I've talked to some of the people that you people have gone after, and you don't muck around. You don't just attack what they're saying, but go after them and break them. I, mean, I dispute people... that. No, I, 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 don't think, I, don't, I don't think that that's correct. We're, we're here and we're uh, practising our religion and we've gone through our first 50 years. Um, we've made mistakes, but the thing that we do is that we will always correct anything that's ever been done wrong. These people here are training to be Scientology auditors and counsellors. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about psychiatry. Why does Scientology hate psychiatry? Well, I don't think that's the right word, but what the, the, the issue is the abuses of the subject. The word itself, psyche, means soul. The healing of the soul and spiritual trauma has always been in the realm of religion. And what was previously healed by a priest through ages past is now being medicalised. But there have been many deaths of Scientologists with mental illnesses where the church is alleged to have obstructed proper medical practice. In Australia, there are now calls for an inquiry into the religion. We don't fear anything. The only thing that we have had is that uh, Scientologists have been marginalised by this whole campaign that's been running. Would you cooperate with a parliamentary inquiry? Well, <clears throat> is that I don't think an inquiry into Scientology would end with Scientology and I think that all religions have to look at the fact that this actually is a potential for all religions and for the, the for coming like the Middle Ages of persecution from Europe being brought over to Australia.